Hey, we're so, back. <laughs> we thought we'd save you some trouble of walking simulator, and I accidentally stumbled into a troll den, and then it followed me all the way to Rorik's dead, and the villagers are just having none of it. <laughs> we, we walk in, uh, Look at this old lady just fucking up this troll. Walking Rorik's dead, and then the, this grandma just like pulls out a knife. <laughs> I, I feel like I troll. should help. <laughs> no, grandma, oh. help me. No, I can't do this by myself. He's too strong. Oh, oh, okay, good. Yeah, got him. It's okay, everyone. I'll take. I got it. Yeah, I've got it. Nice. Troll fat. Yeah. That was funny. <laughs> Bruh. So just walk in, and these two girls just like both pull little teeny knives and start running at the troll. I thought they were trying to come after me because I like jumped off from a, like a little cliff into their little farm area, and then they just pull out daggers. Like, oh shit! I didn't mean to step on your plants. <laughs> But they went for the troll, and it was much more funny. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, I, I'm telling you, third a person. There's a <laughs> third person panic. There is a wolf problem. Yeah, there. Yes. Yeah, honestly, a wolf problem. But I'm the solution. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's never gonna get old. <laughs> it's gonna be a thing for a while, I think, until I forget about it. Which will be never. Uh, let's hope. So yes, yeah. we're uh, we're back on the trail, the right one this time. Yeah, not the wrong one we took the first time. Yeah, last episode. Going to see the Greybeards. <clears throat> yeah, fast but it was like you could ride a dragon, like an hot a dragon. You know, actually, that movie is. I didn't see it for the longest time, just out of principle. Uh huh. Because I thought it was gonna be like a little child's movie. It is though. Okay, yeah, but I meant like, uh, wait, isn't that a shrine? It's just a fucking guy. Oh, it's not shrine. You can't like get no. over your rock. rock no. Shrine? Okay. No, I can't. Yeah, okay. It is. It is a child's movie. But I thought it was gonna be like really bad, and I never watched it. And then uh, I finally saw it, and it was amazing. It was a uh... Jesus. <laughs> Just kicked him. I don't care. Um, that was it. Was a, it was all right? I guess. Really. I. I mean. What do you think of like uh, all the other ones, like Big Hero Six and stuff like that? Like what? Big Hero Six? Didn't... Is that the same? Oh. Did not see it. Is that the same? Uh... There's drop kicks today. What? Didn't Disney do? Yeah, it was like a Disney Pixar thing. Yeah. Doesn't mean I I see every Disney Pixar movie that comes out. I like to. I think they're really well done. Anyways, back to um. Yeah. Dragon. Um. I didn't like that the the guy's name was Hiccup. <laughs> That's what got you, the guy's main name. I the guy's name, well, uh, switch the words from. I mean, I know he was supposed to be like the puniest and wimpiest and lamest of the Vikings, but like they didn't know that. Uh, like when he was born, like he was like the son of like the greatest Viking chief that the Vikings have ever known, fucking Gerard Butler, Leonidas. Was Gerard Butler, yeah. yeah. And he's like, oh, my son is probably going to be a bitch. Let's name him Hiccup. No, I don't think maybe... Unless, like... I need to name it a little different like that. Maybe, like, the kid Hiccup when it first came out. And I don't like, I don't think that happened, though. Or maybe it's like the like the Wildlings do in Game of Thrones, where it's like, oh, you can't name him until he's, like, three years old because it's bad luck and shit. Oh, because... So maybe they like waited guy. for a couple yeah. years to make sure that he was a bitch... And then when they realized he was, they just named him a bitch name like Hiccup. You know what's weird is like the the show's been technically in in like Westeros time. It's been like a couple years, right? For what? Since uh, since the book started. In, oh yeah, in, in no, a song of fire. And ice. Yes. So ice and fire. Ice and fire. Whatever. Yes. No. It has been a few years. That baby in the show, still a baby. Well, yeah, because like it hasn't been years since it's been born. Yeah, it's been like 48 months probably. I mean, no. How long has it been? I think it's been maybe a year. Maybe. How long does it take for a baby to start walking? I don't know. It's probably not. It's probably not even been that long. Cause in the books, or at least that I'm reading, it's still like it's just always a baby. Oh uh, really? Like she's on her way to Old Town with Sam, and it's still just a baby. So I don't think it's been that long. Like I know time passes in a very I don't know 
know what the word is, but it's hard to tell like how long things should be. I mean, in, in a fictional universe with it like that too, it's hard. But I don't think it's been that like years. Well, Sam actually said something at one point, like uh, this last season. John, when they're at, when they're at uh, Castle Black, like, well, I've known it's you for like, years. Yeah, he's been there for years, but it's like it's been like months since he brought Gilly back. Now, yeah, that yeah, shit was like season three. Well, the whole well because spoiler alert for I guess no, this isn't it's not that much of a spoiler alert because they kind of cut this storyline out of the show, but in the book it's because there's. Gilly's son and Mance Raider's son. Oh, and yeah. And John pulls yeah. the old switcheroo and. He's in the switch ops back in now. Makes uh, Gilly take uh, Mance Raider's kid so Melisandre doesn't burn him alive. Oh, yeah. fuck, empty no, chest. dump all the dragon shit in there. And uh, so that really doesn't apply to the show, but there's just still babies and shit. Okay. Uh, all right. All right, we've made it. Actually, I'm really excited for uh, High Hrothgar the next season. I really just want <laughs> Winds of Winter to come out, the book, because I soon. I've 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 powered through the books. I've read the yeah. first four in a matter of like a month oh. and a half. Which I think I is a decent pace. I think it's a great pace. Those books are huge. But um, I'm, I'm going really slow on Dance of Dragons because I'm up here doing this stuff now. Yeah, hanging out with me. But uh, we will see if you truly I just really want the next book to come out Show before the, the season, which I don't think it will. But <clears throat> well, didn't it originally have like this fall as a release date? I don't and know. Then he was like... I think, I thought no, I thought they said like 2016. I thought they read somewhere like fall 2015, and then like this summer, his uh, publisher came out and said, "Don't expect a 2015 release." And George released something saying like, um, "Don't listen to my publisher. He doesn't know what he's talking about." And uh, I'm just fiddling with like rearranging some of the storyline. I mean, he's got to be close to done. It's been like six years, dude. Uh, four. Four Dance Dragons came out in 2011. Okay. So it's end of 2015, just about. Mm -hmm. That's what about he takes. Yeah, four or five years. Like the longest campus. That's why I said it. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just really want to. More than anything, I want him to finish the books before he dies. He won't die. I mean, listen, okay, people can make fun of him all the time, but no, I, I'm like, not. I'm not making fun of him. The point is, he's like 75 or so. Or so. Right, I think he's 60s, but yeah, no, I don't think he's. I don't think he is. I think he's older than that. I, I know he's like overweight stuff, but like, he's not, I think he's like in his 70s. I don't know. We're looking it up. Yeah, we're gonna figure it out right now. That's what happens when you have arguments. You have shown that you are dragonborn. But I mean, still, elderliness. And, the discipline and wait to follow the path. is not a good combination. Um, Usually, generally. Nah, I know. I'm not saying that. Uh, you have already taken the first And it's just like fear. It's saying. just basically let's, you know, assume that he puts out this. sixty six. Okay, so I was I was off. I was wrong. I stand corrected. Sixty six. Sixty six. So I mean I was, Oh, he's still, he he still got time. Males, like, what, 74, 75? I don't and know. female's like 78 right now, so. All shouts are made up of so no, I guess he's got plenty of time. Yeah. Maybe I'm just one of those worry wart naysayers. Honestly, even if he does die, there's plenty of people who will pick up the last. Well, because he's got like a, like a team of editors and shit, right? Oh yeah, now that it's who just, huge. Like know oh, yeah. the, know the story as as well as he does. Oh yeah. And they can mimic his writing style and everything. And plus, he's probably talked to him all about how he wants it to end. Yeah, no, they they know. Yeah. I'm sure they know. But like, it's just like uh, fucking uh, Tolkien, because he didn't uh, finish the Silmarillion. Oh, I did not know that. No, actually. I his um, it was either his son, I think it was his son, or his grandson, like Christopher Tolkien. Okay. Wow. And, uh, yeah. Oh, there's your house girl. Yep, she's here. Lydia. <laughs> Late, as usual. 
Oh, oh, do, you, do you remember when uh, the last time we played through this, we had Lydia run around and we would always uh, like throw her off a mountain and shit or like leave her behind somewhere to fight a bunch of people. Remember and when we, and her, whenever, like it's a giant? When, yeah. whenever she would catch up after like dying, we'd be like, oh, Lydia, you know I don't mean it. Give me a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> And one time she never came back. Yeah, one time she just... <laughs> <laughs> the kisses weren't enough. I'd like to think she died. Yeah, I think so too. no one could leave us. What am I supposed to do? I don't know, it's probably actually a good place to, uh... Lydia, get out the way! Oh, you need to do this trial thing? I guess we can stop after this trial. Yeah, we're... Almost done. Well, yeah, back to Game of Thrones. Okay. I actually, I binge watched four seasons of Game of Thrones in uh, one week. That's like 40 hours. Yeah. Well, you didn't have them like, no, when I, didn't. I had them. Yeah, because I got up here to, uh, like, we moved into my new place, and we got HBO, and then I was sick really bad, and I didn't go to, like, class all one whole week. And I just sat on the couch and binged. That's, that's crazy. Because uh, I, I I think I binge watched seasons Impressive. one, two, and three, and then I started watching season four as it came out. Okay. So yeah, I thought you were already watching it by then. I didn't know you were. No, this uh, season five was the first season that I actually caught each weekend. Oh, that's. Oh, here we cool. go. That's actually a good place to stop. Now you did your trials. Yeah, all right. Next, all right time, next time, we'll do more gray beard, gray stash, gray... Get more woods of power. Gray, gray stuff. The gray, Liam Neeson. There's plenty of wolves. It's just like the gray. Yeah, it is just like the gray. What do you think of that movie, by the way? I loved it. Did you really? It was really good.